Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Life in Bunker. Let's get underway. Actually, we're not going to get underway just yet because I have renames. We all love renames. Let's go ahead and do renames number one because I have nine new individuals to present to the colony here today. Let's see. We have Amaka. We have Phoenix. We have Legotron. We have the Viking. We have Cass. We have Flapjack Fire. I like this one. You know what Flapjack Fire is from? If you watch my Firewatch series, you probably know what Flapjack Fire is from. I like it. Very, very nice. I like that name. We have Dark Nomad. We have Dylan. Dylan. Listen to this guy. Dylan Toby. That's Dylan Toby, Falcon. Not Dylan. And Red Moon Lunar as well. Alrighty, so our big issue today is going to be the fact that we are low on materials finally. It finally happened. We have been expanding and building a lot of um, new areas to mess around with over here, so we're low. And the only place that we have left over to drill in is going to be this, which is actually really low as it is. And then we have a free one over here. After that, first level is done. So we're going to have to go underground to level 2, level 3, so on and so forth. So I'm actually kind of excited about that because I'm not sure how the underground mechanics actually work in the game. So I need to, number one, make myself a path through here. Sounds pretty good. Let's go ahead and kill. Well, actually, open that up like so. And that's good right there. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. So we'll do it that way. You guys come over here and drill through here. Cannot be destroyed. What are you talking about? Don't tell me I can't destroy anything. I'll destroy whatever I feel like it, okay? I will destroy my own product if I want to, game. You don't tell me what I can't destroy and what I can destroy. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not even sure why I'm being so defensive against this game right now, but apparently I am. What happened to all of our food? Are you leaving it now? Does the food also, like, reset every single day after you... Not every single day, but after you do a reload? Like the mole men do? I wonder. Alrighty, so, um, really quickly, let's come over here and make sure that we have a, 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 hey, you stop running in the background, okay? I have some plans here for today. Number one, we have to add some toilets around the base because people have no bowel control in this game. They just shit themselves wherever they want, and that's no good. However, a lot of our people are happy now because we have some new, um, areas to mess around with. We have the running machines, we have the dance machine, we see old people dancing all the time now, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty decent right here going forward. Uh, we have one scientist, that's no good. <laughs> we need two of them, at least. We have two farmers, okay, we have two cooks, we have three engineers, we have four cleaners, and four workers. Okay, um, let's get rid of Duncan McShale over to cook, and then the Viking over to scientist. He's gonna be a scientific Viking, I like it. So that's cool. We have two scientists now, we have two farmers, preferably I would like three farmers, but... I guess we could drop an engineer over here. How many engineers do we have now? One, two, that should be fine for now. Three cleaners and four workers. That's fine. Plus, we should have Cass growing up here pretty soon, so not a big problem. Uh, you guys run in the background here. I need to take a look at what's happening here as well. We have 169 research points. Are we growing babies? No babies growing. You guys gotta grow. Let's get some babies happening over here. So, let's go with um a legitimate worker. Like so. Let's get ourselves another engineer, and we'll make ourselves also a, we have 119 left over, a scientist. A scientist that could also do some engineer work on occasion. Cool. Next one over, we'll do another straight up worker. We will also do, mm, maybe another cook for the future. And 24 left over. As soon as you get it back up to 30, I will get this guy up and running as well. So for now, you just hang out. I'll come back. Anybody working on that research now? Doctors? Scientists? Whatever you want to be called, get over here and work on the station right now. Uh, let's see what we have here. Hey, hey, hey. We have uh, an outbreak. Of course. Of course. Uh, yeah, I wanted to also add another medical facility as well. So we could treat more injuries and illnesses that way. But again, we're kind of low on materials right now. And it's my fault. I'm aware it's my fault. But I had to expand. You know what's actually killing it is the fact that we're adding so, many, so much concrete flow around now because I'm trying to avoid the moles because the moles have been kind of buffed up now. They actually hurt a lot now, so it's really troublesome in that regard. Let's see, Legotron got poisoned, huh? Ate raw fish. You know what? I'm not even sure where you're finding fish from. We have no fish here. And the residents are starving. I beg to differ because we should have food over here. I mean, we would if the, <laughs> the cooks would hurry it up over here. Get over there. Come on. Oh, hey, somebody just grew up. Yeah, there it is. Who is it? Who is it? It's Kaz, right? It is Kaz. 
Oh, Kaz could be the scientist now. Perfect. Oh, and actually, you know what? Since we have the Viking as a scientist, and I kind of like him as a scientist, kind of really funny. A Viking scientist. It works out so good. We'll make Kaz another um, farmer instead. That is very good. So right now, my plans are we need to come over here and start. Mm, well, I guess we could... What well, we should do... You guys are almost here, right? Once you guys are done with this, I'm going to set up a machine, and then we'll connect it over here and have some more ore be coming in for us pretty soon. I think I only have one of you guys running, or is it two of them? That's two of them. They needed more ore, though. Yeah, that would happen. That's because our ore income right now is actually quite low, so we just kind of have to wait here a little bit. Let me know when you're done with the uh, mining over there, okay? So now, the other thing we need to do is actually move these couches out of here, because I want to make my double bunk bed area in this little small, confined space over here. So, I'm going to say we do a few of the couches over on the side over here. So, we need, where would that be? Resting zone? Resting zone it is. Sofa. Sofa, sofa, sofa. Move you like so. Like so. And a third one? Yeah, we'll do a third one as well. That's good. So you hang out there. Now, you guys. Plenty of you. We don't really need you anymore because now we have the uh, better ones, the treadmills. So you guys could just be completely dis uh, disassembled straight up. So disassemble. Disassemble. Assemble. Assemble. And there you go as well. And as soon as we get these couches up and running. Oh, they're up and running already. Oh, you guys are done over here. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and do the production now. Production. Mining machine. My, my, my machines. Boom, boom. I'm not, I'm not sure where that song came from. I just made it up right now. But it should, I guess it's kind of like a spin off of Micro Machines when I was growing up. Micro Machines! Okay, I'm not even. My, no, that, that was a thing. Okay, I don't, I'm not making this up. Micro Machines were a thing, and there was a song that went along with the Micro Machines brand, okay? I remember it. <laughs> I think, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going, um, senile earlier than I really thought it would. So you come through this area right here, and... Excuse me? Excuse me? You need to... Not you. You stay like that. There you go. Confirm that. Perfect. Go back to the ground... Excuse me. Go back to the ground floor, I said. There you go. So, that's gonna help us out. Um, couches can be disassembled now. So, boom. Boom. And... Boom, boom. Research points, we have them now? Perfect. Uh, straight up worker? Get you happening. And we have 44 left over. I will do... With 44 left over, let's do yet another one. Oh, no, no, no! I didn't even assign you anything! You're gonna be completely random, aren't you? You are. Well, that's my fault. I have nobody to blame but myself on that one. Let me do another engineer for the future. And you could be a work uh, cleaner as well. You know what? Like, just an overall everything. There you go. That's good. I want to have a lot of people here so that when we start retiring, I could rename more people for one, and we have to worry about people running out of jobs and, you know... Oh, there's a mole man right there. Get that mole man. Get the mole man. Don't hurt yourself too much, please. Get that mole man. He's down. Are you okay? You're at 61. Yeah, these guys are a lot tougher now, for a fact. Um, so you're connected? Yeah, buddy. You're still running, right? You're almost done, but you're still running for now. Alrighty, so... I hope that'll increase our little uh, mining production here a bit faster. Now, the other thing, Falcon make another garbage recyclers that I've been hearing. I don't like the garbage recyclers. Look at how slow they are. They're upgraded, too. Level 2. They're maxed out already. There's no more speed functions. That's as fast as they go. And how much do they cost to make? I will, I will, you know, just humor the idea of using that, depending on how much it actually uses to make. Mm. Poopoo -poo again. See? The, the whole bladder control system that I was talking about. Alrighty. Oh, you know what? I wanted to, for a fact, disassemble this one, too. Just because I know I can make them closer to each other, and right now this is taking up way too much space. So what I want to do is move this forward. I'll move this one forward. I might set up another restroom system in here for all the people eating and maybe working on the cooking. And they, apparently, apparently the people who eat cannot come from here down to here to poop. They, they basically shit themselves on the way over there all the time. So hopefully I'll take care of that. Everything else is running. All right. Now... That's connected. That's all good. Oh, yeah, we need to come over here and put up some concrete flooring. Otherwise, moles will consistently be a problem for us, and I don't want that to be the case. Much like happened last time. So, concrete. What little bit of um, concrete I have, or materials I have, left, I have left over, I have to use for this, unfortunately. I'm not a big fan of it, but, you know, needs to happen. So, 
Mmm. Let's just um, build concrete around that. Ugh. How far do you extend? Hopefully down to here. That's all, right? Well, you can't get that one, so skip that one. Alrighty. I don't like doing this. I hate having to use my building materials for this um, flooring all the time. I guess that's the part. That's kind of what you have to kind of uh, pay for. I'm expanding, though. It's part of the whole... Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, hey. Oh, you know what happened? This guy was over here controlling the conduits to everything else. Oh, well. I... That's my bad. That's my bad, dog. So, we need a power cable through here. That'll take care of that. And a water pipe. Oh, that's easy. Hey, it's just one pipe. If we're missing one pipe of everything over here, that should get it back up and running. Can somebody do that soon, though? Because, um... Uh, otherwise, it might be... There you go. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> I was kind of like, uh-oh. I, I hope they don't start flooring before they actually get those um, pipes up and running. So, food's fine now. Um, our garden stuff is doing pretty good. How's our supply here? 61 and 22. We do need more materials to expand over here. I wanted to move all these, um, containers up here as well. That's my other big issue here. And you guys are still, uh, it's very slowly going about stuff over here. Let's consider going downstairs. How would that work out for us? Like, what do I have to do here? I've never even looked into the idea of moving down. So we have to go to research and find the lift, right? Where's the lift at? Lift. Unless I already did that, I just don't even remember. Oh yeah, we got everything already. Oh yeah, we got everything. We're fine. So, how, how does <laughs> how does this work though? Underground? No, it's not it. Large recycler. Lift allows the residents to move between the underground levels. Right. So it's going to be something we build. Correct. Let's come over here and find out. So what would you be? Production maybe? No, no. Residential. Mm, let's see, we're looking for a lift. Do oh, here. <laughs> oh, doors and lifts, Falcon? Ha, I don't know where you'd probably find that. You require 250 materials. Allows the residents to travel between the underground levels. Lift can be only... Lifts can be only... Can be built only on rifts. Apparently, I'm dyslexic now, too. Um, okay, 250. We don't have enough for that. But, actually, let's say we should start making the path towards it. But if I do that, we'll open up more ground for a moment to pop up. You know what? We have to hold up before we go downstairs because... I'm going to need materials to patch up the flooring on the way over there. Not only for the lift as well. So we're going to have to kind of um, hold our horses on that one. We might just put this in double speed here so we get some more of this production happening faster. Let's get another kid happening though, huh? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have 72. Let's do another scientist and that. That's good. More viruses? Faith has given her best years to the bunker. She can enjoy life now. Oh, we have another retiree. Another retiree, huh? Who is that? Fate? After Fate comes uh, Imperial Peace, Adora, and Dokoru. They're, they still have like two more years, but, you know, they're getting close to that. So what do we lose just now? We have two scientists. We have three farmers. We have only one cook now. Can we survive with only one cook? I'm going to give only one cook a try here and see if that's enough. We'll see if that's enough here. Oh, Jesus. Do that. All right. Um, only one engineer. Now that's a problem. Three cleaners, four workers. Can I drop a worker over to engineer? Nope, but what I could do is just, um, drop you here. And then you could... Oh, you can't do that. So I'll drop Jelly Giblet over to janitor work. And then we could drop Phoenix over to engineer. Three, three, and two. That's a little bit better. Luckily, we do have four kids that are going to grow up pretty soon, and we'll be able to assign them some work. So, for a minute, we'll be a bit low on jobs, but soon enough, it'll kind of fill up. Alrighty. You guys going to get this concrete up and running, please? Thank you. Other than that, garbage recycler, we did talk about that too, huh? 311, 116 building materials. Okay. Boy, what is it now? Water level's low. How did, how did that come down? No, everything's fine. Oh, no, no, it's not. Hey, 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 hey. What happened to you guys? Did your um, cables break or did somebody break down completely here? Let's go underground here for a second. Uh, that's connected over here. And that's connected over here as well. 
What 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 just went down here? What are you lacking? You're lacking power. But there's power right through here. Oh, that's broken. Okay, there you go. So as soon as we have an engineer over here to fix that, that should be taken care of. I was like, what the hell happened here? We have this, uh, what are you, a cook? Cook's running around. Hey, engineers? Engineers, please? My, my embryos are dying. <laughs> my embryos are dying. Oh, hey, we have um, kids growing up. Perfect. Good, because we're apparently lacking jobs pretty bad now. Um, ba -ba -bom, let's see. Three of them. All right, here we go. Dark Nomad, be an engineer for now. Flapjack Fire, I don't think we need another scientist, so I'm going to have you just be a janitor worker, and then we'll have Dylan Toby be a farmer momentarily, and we'll see what Red Moon Lunar grows up to be. I forgot what I assigned him, so. All right, we now have an extra engineer, though, so hopefully I'll take, that'll get taken care of here soon. Uh, let's see. Bunk beds, bunk beds, bunk beds. Let's get the bunk bed area over here opening already. So, residential zone. I know I, I need materials for other things, but at the same time, I would rather have my sleeping area under control. So, for bunk beds, it'd be 30, right? Mm, how do we want to set this up? Eh, we'll set it up like that. So, we'll do bam. 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 We're so low on materials. So, that would be that set up for now. And as soon as those are up and running, we can assemble these guys. So we're going to have um, two, four, six, eight, ten sleeping spots, which is more than we have over here. So, hey, as soon as those are up and running, we get rid of all these beds over here. Alrighty. That should hopefully... Oh, we had somebody die already. Hey. Carl, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Rest in peace, Carl, Alabama. You were an old man and you had to pass away. That's the way of life, man. It's the circle of life. I learned it from the Lion King. Now, are these things over here up and running? Yes, they are now. Okay. 55 research points. Can we get some more babies? You're running. You're all running. No, we can't get any more babies happening. Every baby machine is on the work right now. That's good. It's very good. Oh, no, another person died. Ah, my old people. Oh, it's Silent Cycle. Rest in peace, Silent Cycle. You had a good life. You were pretty psychotic. They routed. You lived up to the name for a fact. I think we have another kid that just grew up here. Hey, where are you? There we go. We have uh, Red Moon Lunar. Let's have you be a... Another worker for now. Uh-oh. We had an embryo baby. Who's this? Sebastian Stern. Oh, more embryo babies. They're popping out. They're popping out left and right. Okay, we're almost done over here, guys. I need to speed it up. I don't want any moment popping up. We're up to 49, or... We're not up to it, but we're close to it. <laughs> what are you doing here, Austin Blake? Get out of there, Gramps, you crazy dude. Stop um, clapping your hands next to my imaginary bunk beds. Oh my god, we have a ton of babies popping up right now. I have a feeling that with all these extra mouths to feed, we might actually have to get that second cook after all. Yeah, we probably do. So, who can be the second cook now? I guess we'll drop an extra farmer over here and we'll stick to two farmers. Three farmers, that's good. Three farmers is more than enough, honestly. Because we don't have too many of these farms. Um, speaking of these farms, though... I want to move this guy up here a little bit, and we just want to scoot everything upwards so I could set up maybe another restroom facility over here. So, let's see. What we need to do now is this requires metal, if I'm correct. Stop puking. Stop being sick. Go to the doctor if you're sick. Well, this requires metal flooring. So, we need floors, we need metal, metal grame. Oh, come on. I gotta dis disassemble the floor first. Fine. I'm over here. Our fridge is with fruit overflowing. Really? That's good. Hey, I, I, that's the first time our, our fruits ever got um, completely filled up with them, correct here. That's good. That's not a bad thing. Do you know what? It tells me I have a lot of food. If I can't hold on to all the food, it's a good thing. Disassemble all of these right here. Alright. Oh, hey, the concrete is done. Very nice. So that's good now. Are you done? You have ten more. After that, I'll break you down. That should give us some back um, some materials as well. One more bed, guys. <laughs> oh my god, this guy's just walking and puking as he walks. Oh, that's so terrible, dog. You're getting puke all over yourself. I've been there before. I I've been there where I drank too much and I'm just walking around and, you know, I couldn't make it and it's just kind of like, oh. Of course, though, when that happens, you have to, like, run and you have to lunge forward like you're a, you're a fucking ostrich or something. So you don't get it on yourself. Because you don't want to get it on yourself. That's nasty. Don't do that. If you have to puke, if you've been drinking for a long time... And you just can't make it to a restroom somewhere. Just make sure if you're walking, you lunge forward, and then you heave. Uh, of course, if you're of age, that is, if you're legal age. If you're an under kid, underage kid, you shouldn't be drinking, okay? 
I, I do not facilitate that habit around here, my friend. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put some metal down through here. And then we'll do some of the old red stuff right here. Okay. How's our building material coming along now? 121. That's not too bad now. All right, and now that we could, um, we have bunk beds here, let's go ahead and assemble all these here. I'm sorry if you guys are sleeping. I'm going to have to wake your ass up forcefully. Get your ass out of that bed. Go to the double bunk bed. You enjoy it a lot better. Boom. Hey, 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 hey. You too. You too. And there you are. Very nice. Get those beds on out of here. Get me some more building materials. I need them. Okay. What do you mean? What am I confirming? <laughs> what is this confirm what is this confirmation for? Disassembling? Yeah, you can disassemble. I guess. That's what it was asking me. I don't know. Alrighty. Now, 150 materials. That's a little bit better. And we got this up and running now, too? Great. So, next thing we do, we use up a few materials to move this guy up here. Therefore, we need to go to farming. You know what? Now that I have everything opened up, do I need to do another one of these? I could just do another one, a different type of food. Have three different foods. Three foods would mean that they're going to be filled up for a longer period of time as well. Which is a good thing. Uh, okay. We have vegetable grain patch. Oh my god, you take up a lot of room, my friend. You also need metal flooring everywhere. Oh, okay. So you take up four and you take up oh, okay. Okay. I guess what we could do is like put them like next to each other. It does need a lot more metal though, so we could place it here though, right? So it would be metal through all of this. Yeah. So metal, metal, okay. I think we can make this happen. What I want to do is have, like, two veggies, maybe? No. Maybe just one veggie, because we already have our veggie thing filled up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the problem here? Oh, it's done? Okay, good. This one's done. So you also get deconstructed. Alrighty, cool. So, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Getting looked into? Excellent. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here for today. We'll come back next time. I'm going to... I think what we're going to do is we're going to move one of these guys up here in that spot. And then over here we'll build the fish aquarium and the granary. And we'll have door four different foods. That'll keep them filled up longer. And we need to make some fridges for that, though. So I hope we have enough building materials. We're up to 281 now, which is a lot better now, considering everything that we have built. So there is that. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. I'll catch you guys next time.